No, I don't think there'll ever be a time when the CCM collapses. I mean, I think that, you know, for everybody that, that uh, I mean, they're, they're, the church is full of so many different types of people that, you know, with, with however many bands there are in the Christian music industry, there's always people out there that are, uh, that, that, that have uh, an appeal to that type of music. And I think it, it's such a broad spectrum that I just don't, I mean, there's, as long as a church exists, I think there's always going to be a need for songs that, that glorify Christ. If people talk about the collapse of CCM as if, you know, in the way that maybe Christian music and mainstream music kind of blend more together, then, you know, that would be great if there was not so much of a, a black and white or a line between the two. But, you know, I, as much as I don't see the, the church uh, going that route, I don't see mainstream, you know, I mean, fully accepting what we do. I think you have your moments and, and a lot of people mainstream that are cool with, with music that glorifies Christ. But ultimately, regardless what takes place, I mean, uh, there is a, I mean, uh, biblically, it's just, I mean, we, you know, there's still a part of us that we're just not a part of this world. It's, it was never supposed to completely fit in. And uh, and so, and I think if you truly stand up for what Christ, uh, you know, who Christ is and, and uh, the things he taught, then there's certainly a, 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 a big rub against what the world teaches. And uh and I think that, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like, you know, we always heard like, you know, Muslims, people like that, that say that, that Jesus was a great teacher and that they would acknowledge that as if that was, a, that was a good thing. And it's like, well, how can he be a great teacher if he said, I'm God? Either, he's a, either he is God or he's a lunatic. And I think things like that will still, I mean, we're, we're just, we're a little bit different. I mean, as much as we want to be relevant in the world, I mean, we do have a purpose. We have a purpose to show people a hope that's much greater than what the world has to offer. We're not just trying to fit in and keep our mouths shut and, and make music that's, that sounds like everybody else and not make any waves so that we can make the top 10. We're still trying to be very bold about the gospel. We're not trying to be dogmatic and shove a Bible down anybody's throats, but hopefully, you know, with kindness and through our lifestyle, people will see that there's something a little bit different. I think as long as that's the case, I think that uh, the Christian music industry will still exist in some way, shape, or form. Will it be what it is today? Maybe not. You know, maybe it's smaller. Maybe it's a different, it has a different face. I don't know, but I, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I don't think, especially, you know, with people, you know, uh, you know, appeal to mainstream music over that or whatever. I think for the few that, that feel like mainstream music is better, there are thousands and thousands of people that are completely attached to Christian music that won't even you know, give mainstream music a second thought. And I think just because there's so many people within the body of Christ, I think it would be ludicrous to say that it would, it would go away. I, think, I mean, if it does, I would be shocked. But, I mean, music glorifies God, has glorified God since the, since the beginning, and I don't see it ever ending until Christ returns, I guess. And it's definitely not going to end then.